What's up guys, it's the Tech Playoffs and this is another video. So right now Apple just dropped iOS, iPad 16, iPad OS 16 for the iPad, all the new iPads. Um, this is the iPad Air M1 and I'm just gonna test out really quick since you guys been asking about the desktop uh, monitor support. So I hooked up my iPad Air to my monitor. As you can see right now, I did detect it. So it's running the same wallpapers. Right off the bat, you can tell that it does show date in time uh nothing else so it's not mirroring the uh the ipad like it used to so i'm just trying to figure out how to get this course back over there real quick so you can see i jumped from uh this screen to this screen if i go ahead and go into the stage mode let's see what it does okay so i'm gonna go ahead and unlock it again i don't see system okay so it showed me it says system crash so I'm not sure if this is enabled at the moment. Let's see, let me try it again. Oh, showing that it's enabled now. Okay, so you can see here I have the uh, Safari pulled up. Let me see if I can go into apple.com. And I wonder if I drag this over, how I can get it up. It's not showing up up here into my external display. I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong at the moment. So it gives you an option to uh, increase and decrease these windows. But it's not giving me the option to pull it over to this display. Hmm. Maybe there's a trick to it. Yes, yeah, so let me try unplugging it and plug it back in and see if that does anything. So I'm gonna switch back, let's see if it does anything. Let's see. So I'm not sure if there's an issue with it right now. It could be because it's in a beta mode or maybe I'm just having the issue myself, but I do get the support for the external display, but I'm not getting the option to throw it into my second display here. You see, it recognizes the Courser, but I can't drag it up. So I'm not sure if it's a monitor compatibility issue, compatibility issue or maybe I'm doing something wrong, but you can see I can resize it. And I'm trying to see if I can right click or something, maybe throw it across, but I don't see anything at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. Not working at the moment, man. So I'm going to keep working on it, see if I have anything I can fix or do, but I'll let you guys know whatever I find out. All right, guys. So I was able to figure it out. Um, when you have a window open, you have these three dots here. And then if you tap on it, it it'll give you the option to change uh, where you want these things to go. So I can make it in full screen. Uh, what can I do here? I can put it away, add another window, slide over, choose another app. Let's see if it lets me do it. Okay. So it's a little buggy right now, uh, but it does work. Let me see. Choose another app. Let's see. Twitter. So if I go here to my iPad, I don't know if you guys can see that that well, but you, you see there's three dots here. It'll give me the option to throw it into the external display that you have right here. Now, down here is not uh, being disturbed at all. Down here is just the plain home screen. Um, but when you throw it into the other screen, it does give you the option for this side card here, or the stage display, I'm sorry. But it's real buggy, you know, it's not, it's not being centered properly. Um, of course, it's gotta update. But as you can see, if I slide over to the left, it'll show me everything else that's open here. I can open something mail on this side, and then it'll show me my messages for my mail application. 
and I can still do something on the main display, which is awesome as well. So if I want to slide over, open Twitter, I can do that. Uh, at the moment, it's not letting me resize. I'm wondering what this does. So that closes everything. So that gets rid of everything that I threw on this monitor. So I'm going to take mail, hit the three dots on top. I don't know if you guys can see that that well. But yeah, you can hit the three dots right here on top. Uh, let me see. I'm sorry, it's just, it's the software, man. It's being a little buggy. But then you have the screen where it'll add, give you the option to throw it over here. So if I have a, have a delivery, I can open it up. And then a comment you guys just left. Stuff like that. So pretty cool. The good thing is it gives you like an extra desktop. So you have this whole display here. Um, I'm not sure if, it's, if it supports multiple displays, but I have it hooked up to this one. I can drop apps back and forth. And then it's just not giving me the option to split view. Let me see if I can throw this one here. Okay, there you go. So if you drag over, you have two windows open. And then I'm trying to get the option to resize it. So if you go into one of the corners, it'll show you the arrows. You can bring it down and resize it. It's a little funky right now because I'm not sure if it supports uh, my resolution. This is a, a 34 ultra wide curved display. So that might be part of the issue. Uh, but I can, as you can see, resize these apps, throw them on top of each other. And then if I want to go to YouTube, I can go to YouTube. It'll bounce back. And then this one is stuck in full screen. So I'm trying to get into the button behind where it says slide over. There you go. So I'm trying to see if it'll drop it back down. But it doesn't seem like it's going to. So uh, it takes some getting used to. I don't hear any audio coming out of the speakers, but I don't have speakers plugged into this monitor at the moment, so that's probably the reason why. Um, but it works. It works uh, in concept. Uh, this is one of the main features of the uh, iPad OS 16, where you can hook up your iPad to an external display and then use pretty much two monitors to uh, have your workflow going. So you can have a video going here, you can have a spreadsheet going here, or you can have a video call going here, I assume, and then bounce your project or, or spreadsheets or design collaboration notes on this monitor. I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to work, but at this point, it's buggy, of course, it's beta one, it just got released. So yes, it does work in concept, but it is buggy, it does not work perfect at the moment. So uh, I'm gonna keep going into it, guys. I'll, con I'll continue to push out videos. Uh, I did this video because one of the comments you guys left is you guys wanted to see this in, 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 in action. So keep putting some comments, guys. Keep giving me those likes and subscribes. And I'll do the best I can to push out as much content as I can. So other than that, guys, always have a blessed day. Thank you for watching this video. Peace.